Hello, welcome to Practical Math. Um, I am out of the office on Thursday, so this is recording for the week. This is being recorded for learning purposes. Alright, so before the break, you guys had to complete Unit 3 and start working on your unit for project, which was due on Monday. Uh, I've started to grade them, <laughs> a few, um, but I'll get to them as soon as possible. So the project is worth 55 points. The discussion is worth 10. You have to post your thoughts and then reply to two of your classmates to get full credit for that. Um, the only, so make sure that gets turned in as soon as possible, please and thank you. All right, so looking at 5.1 and 5.2, which should have been done Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, this is just estimating values using a graph, solving equations, and computing exponential expressions. Uh, mostly Algebra 1. <laughs> Alright, so looking at our graph here, what is y when x is 30? x is 30. Okay, go over to the y. I don't know. It's not even... Uh, 355, 360. Yeah, we'll just go with 360. Simple. It said estimate, so I feel confident with that. Uh, what is x when y is 250? So 250. Forty-one. Forty and a half, I don't know. Very simple to do. Alright, um, rounding, y'all can do. These, honestly, you can do in your calculator. It's very badly written, but calculator. Um, again, Plug this in exactly as it appears on the screen. 19, open parentheses, 5 minus 3, 2, 4, 0.24, raised to the third power, says round to the hundredth, that's two decimals, so 103.58. If you don't have a scientific calculator or a graphing calculator, Remember your order of operations, please, and thank you. Grouping symbols, the parentheses, the fraction bars, the absolute value bars, square root symbols. Exponents, multiply, divide, left to right, add, subtract, multiply, or er, left to right. So here, if I wanted to do this without my calculator, 5, what is that, 1.45? After I do my subtraction, raised to the seventh power, so 1.45 to the seventh power is 13.48 times 5, 67.38. Again, use your calculator if you have one. Uh, solving a simple equations. Divide using your inverse operation. So 6,590 divided by 10.2. I come out with x to be 646.08. So same thing here. 01645. 01645. This number is going to be bigger because I'm dividing by a decimal. So x is 2,576.9. Okay, what Unit 5 is talking about is retirement. It's a big part of it. Um, interest, saving money. Um, your next project, your unit six project, 
uh, if I remember correctly, will be over retirement. So when you get to those retirement lessons in Unit 5, pay attention to them. Because you're going to need them for Unit 6. Alright, upcoming lessons. Um, so again, this is kind of today, or tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, interest. Uh, you got the quiz. That's the only graded assignment there. Um, on the 26th, so next Tuesday, um, you will have a your choice day, do missing work, do corrections, redo a project that you did not do well on, redo a part two that you did not do well on. Somehow bring up your grade. If you're sitting with a nice pretty A, work ahead or go do something for another class. Okay. That's it. Um, again, I will be out of the office on Thursday. I may or may not make it back for Help Lab. Um, so if you get there and I'm not there, that's why I'm still traveling back home. Um, but I will see you guys next week. Contact me if you need help or would like to schedule one-on-one um, -on -one tutorials.